All right, the next thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is um, I was noticing when I made the last shape. One of the things that I did is I had two little shapes that were inside this big shape. So if I click this shape and move it across, you can see that I had these two other shapes here. So what I'm gonna to talk to you about is layers in digital formats. Um, one of the things you have to think about, just like you're collaging, when you're working digitally, you're thinking in layers like a collage. So what you're going to do, so I'm going to take my curve tool and I'm going to go back to curve and I'm going to make another curvy shape. I am going to curve and make this other rock. So now I've made that rock. Now if I take and click my select tool, which allows me to move things, I can select and move this back over here. Now you'll notice because I made this one later, it shows up on top. Now what you can do is if you make you end up realizing, oh wait, um, this thing I want this thing on top of this. I don't want this. I don't want to be able to see this or for whatever reason. If I'm moving this over here and I want this to be on top, what you have to do is click whichever one you want to send back or forward, and then you're going to right click, um, and then you're going to go to this place here that says order. Bring to front brings it all the way to the front. Send to back brings it all the way to the back. Now, while you're working on this with your drawing, if you do send to back, it's not going to be visible because it's behind your drawing now. So if I do, so what you want to do is you always want to send your drawing to the back. Um, but the other thing you can do is if I do order and I bring forward, it's going to bring it forward. Um, it depends on which level. There we go. So now this one is in front of that. Since I don't really like that, I'm going to undo. What I can do is I can put this right on top and then I can kind of play with their locations. So this is talking about using a select tool and moving things so that they are layered on top of each other. You definitely want to use layers because when it comes to something like these mountains back here, if I'm using my curve tool, and I want that to be straight and then I curve here and I curve here. What I'm going to do when I'm doing my mountains is I want my mountains, if I take this straight down, is my mountains are going to go behind all the rest of this stuff. So it doesn't really matter where I'm here at here because it's going to get overlapped and I can double click to close it. Wait, what happened here? Oh, that's why. Undo. Okay, so let me try that again. So I'm going to click around. See, let me do this really quickly. Um, so that that will happen. Sometimes you got to kind of be careful with this, this program that way. And I can just pull this across because it doesn't really matter. Pull it here. And I want to get really close to that. There we go. Before I double click to fill that space. So now you'll notice that oops, control Z undoes. Um, so then now you'll notice that I want, I want my tower to be in front of that. So what I want to do is go over here once again, click this and click select order, send backwards. I'm going to order. Why is it not? Oh, that's because I clicked the wrong one. See that? So order, send backwards, because right now the, it, there's a layer for, there we go, a layer for each of these things. So if it doesn't work the first time, it just means it's sending it back behind something else. So now this thing is on top of that so that you can see. And then when I go to make the rest of my castle, I can do that. Now, the other thing you can do to get something like the mountains, which are in your way right now, if I send it to the back, it means it disappears and I can't see it, um, which is kind of nice if like I just made my mountains. So now if I want to make my trees, I can make my trees without worrying about my mountains being in the way. So use ordering to help you with dealing with all your different shapes, both in Google Drawings or in any other kind of drawing.